Hey everybody, and welcome back to more Duke Nukem Plus 3D. Per a special request from a YouTube comment, we are going to be doing Nightshade Army today. Uh, I will say I had quite a bit of difficulty doing this map, as I'm very afraid of ammo. And that's mostly because there's an explosion there. Uh, that explosion alone will probably take it about good, uh, take out about a good 20 to 30 health. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things about this particular map that, if you are caught off guard, will either kill you or drop you down a lot of life. So, needless to say, I had to do this map uh, a few times to get down a reasonably good run of it, especially trying to figure out when things trigger and. Just this uh, first part of the map here caused me quite a bit of uh, issue trying to figure out just uh, where to go. Um, just trying to collect some goodies here. Uh, there's not as much ammo as you need, especially when we get to the end of the level. But as you can see by the mission or the uh, the video link, that might be a little bit of time. For right now, though, we are just making our way through. Uh, yeah, walking into that room right there triggers three of these little uh, grunts to pop out. So I'd figure instead of being cooped up into the room that we need to be, I figured I would go ahead and, and take them out before they become too much of a hassle. But yeah, all we need to do for right now is to ride this uh, elevator up. I, I was a bit confused the first time I was riding up this elevator because it sounds like there is like a camera sound effect going off. It's kind of hard to tell. But yeah, uh, you might not know what to do once you get to this point. I mean, you hit a security camera, it shows you where a blue key card is, but for right now, you're kind of locked in this area. And by walking up to this window, it causes a little explosion over there. So before we, oh, oh, before we uh, get going through the rest of the level, we should probably take care of the uh, enforcer that's still left down there and this pig cop that got spawned. Because what we are going to need to do next requires us not being shot at by uh, multiple enemies that do a lot of damage. And something I was n I've been noticing a lot more is that uh, some enemies uh, do a shit ton more damage than I uh, really remember. But uh, yeah, we'll get more into that later. For right now. This is the part that really got me for the longest time, which was the fact that you could walk across those power lines. They seem fairly one-dimensional, like they wouldn't actually support Duke's weight, so... I wasn't really certain that you could walk across them. And these shadowy grunts, uh... You want to take those out pretty quickly, as they will do a lot more damage than you would think. And by riding this broken elevator down, we get the first secret of the level. I uh, I think in the end I end up missing out like th on three secrets. There are just some things I really wasn't sure how they triggered or how they were supposed to be set off. But uh, yeah, that'll that'll be uh, soon enough in the future. For right now, we'll just hop across this other set of power lines to get some more much needed ammunition. And for right now, this first little starting area is done. But ooh. I will say for the most part that uh, it will not get you ready for the rest of the level. The rest of the level is on a whole nother difficulty level, I'll say. For right now, though, we're going to get into, uh, you know, I, I would say the real meat of the level. But I would, I mean, the level split up basically into three reasonably sized sections, not including that first one, because the first one is actually reasonably small if you know where to go and what to do. This section, though, can be uh, a bit confusing, especially if it's your first time, because, well, you just don't know where to go. you got plenty of uh, places to choose from, but a lot of them just seem to be dead ends. And obviously, there, uh, there are some places where you need key cards, but where do you get key cards? Well, as soon as I'm done collecting some ammunition, we'll get on to the rest of the level. The end goal is uh, this strip club here, but first we are going to need four blue keys. Four blue keys that are situated throughout this area. 
but before they spawn, you have to actually get the first one, which is in this motel over here. The, the first blue card we actually saw on the security camera in the previous section. You might not have been able to figure it out, but... Yeah, and uh, Beavis and Butthead. Yeah. Uh, yeah, basically the only way you're going to be able to figure out where this is is due to the fact that it's the only door you can open right now, so process of elimination. And it's best not to stay in that hotel room for too long as a few grunts spawn, just a few, and uh, you're basically stuck in a very confined space up there, so try to get out into the open where you got plenty of room to strafe around, because when I said a few, I meant like five or six. So, and keep in mind that this is on the normal difficulty. I, uh, I probably would not have been able to finish the stage on hard or extreme. But, yeah, with that aside, we actually have our first key card here. So we'll go ahead and place that in here. You can, you, you can open these locks in any order you want. Just keep in mind that each one of those uh, key card locks will give out a particular enemy wave. Like uh, that particular one I put in, obviously. Spawned a few of these uh, flying bombs. I think, uh, well, you'll, you'll see the the uh, ambushes, I suppose, is the word for it, whenever they come with the key cards. But now that we do have that one key card in place, we can actually get the other three as they have now spawned in the rest of the level. Uh, to get an idea of where they are, you could use the security camera up in the, in the motel room where you found the first one. But since I was able to figure out where they were after some manic searching, uh, we'll just go ahead and get them now. First one was actually up on a little, very hard to see platform uh, in the center there. Something interesting I found is you can uh, you can actually blow up guys through the the protective force field, so it's good to take out some guys ahead of time if you can. And also, this is another little uh, nice secret that gives us a good vantage point of what we'll be running into whenever we actually get to the strip club proper. But yeah, the next key card that we can get is in this little hole right here with a with a nice little octobrain ambush waiting in tow. I could have swore that there was a double barrel shotgun down here before, but it wasn't down there this time, so not really sure what happened there. But yeah, another thing to keep in mind is that you cannot, you cannot carry more than one keycard of the same kind, so always make sure once you do get a keycard to go ahead and use it, because finding another one will just make you do some unnecessary backtracking. So with that key card in place, it spawned a few pig cops, nothing too much to worry about, though this uh, bomber was left over from one of the previous key cards that I used. And there are lots of little hidden caches of uh, caches, caches of weapons laying around, so make sure to search around as thoroughly as possible because you will need it by the end of the level. I uh, cannot stress enough that the... Uh, each area basically gets consistently more and more harder. So, more and more, yeah, harder. That's a, that's a good phrasing, but... We just need to find the last key card, which is in this wonderfully uh, beautiful park here. Next to the Sweeney and Company uh, toxic waste outlet. There are a few of these uh, little miniature demons running around. They do not take a lot of damage to take down, just make sure that they do not actually start attacking you, because they will do a lot of damage if given the chance. And it may be a bit difficult to know what actually triggers the next key card here, but after a bit of trial and error and the fact that there's not much else to interact with in the area, just uh, picking up that shrink, or I think that's the uh, expander actually, I'm sorry. Picking up that spander will cause a full-size demon to pop out. And yet again, make sure, keep your distance away, because this uh, guy can do quite a bit of melee damage very quickly if given the chance. So That is the final key card, though. Little uh, tip, though, it appears for the most part they will not go in the water, so 
That, even though the water looks like it might be uh, toxic waste, it's actually fairly safe to stand in, so uh, you can probably use that to your advantage. But yeah, we'll go ahead and enter into the strip club proper here. I will say that I had forgotten that uh, that there was still an ambush waiting for that last card, and it happens to be two more of these uh, jumpy demon guys. And I get kind of cornered like a bitch. Kind of have to use most of my uh, med kit there. Not to mention everything else from the strip club. Decided to come out and see the fight that was going on. So, it eh, could have gone better and could have gone worse. Thankfully, though, there are some items back at the beginning of the level that uh, kind of spawned, I think, whenever I was supposed to move into the second portion of the level, such as an atomic health back at the beginning there, which is uh, very helpful, and I forgot that there was another atomic health in this hole that blew open whenever we, uh, whenever we went to that window at the first part. So now that I am sufficiently healed back up, I can now continue on properly into the strip club. Uh, I will say that uh, trying to figure out what which women will cause more uh, guys to pop out and which ones won't can be a bit hit or miss with uh, with some of these mod create or with uh, user created levels. Uh, not every one of these women will trigger more enemy ambushes, but there is one a little bit later that will cause a, a fairly large and pretty bad ambush to spawn. And there, there is a, a secret room in this uh, particular area that I was able to get to uh, trigger before, but I'm not sure what actually causes it to trigger. And I actually had a pretty large uh, room of weapons that would have been nice, but could not figure out how to get the trigger. And speaking of enemies that are extremely deadly if given the chance, and boobies, and boobies, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, that particular blue pig cop is probably one of the worst enemies to deal with. Um, he does a lot of damage, and a lot of his weapons will probably kill you no matter what in about two to three hits. So, he has about the same health as a normal pig cop, it's just don't let him fool you into thinking that he is a normal pig cop. Do not get hit by him, you will take a lot of damage and probably die. But with uh, that one box blown out of the way, we can uh, continue into the genetics testing facility in the back of the trip club. Just uh, thankfully this guy seems to have a lot of trouble pathing through doorways, so you can kind of cheese them out that way, just for the best, too. But the main point of coming back here is to get the yellow key card, which is right there. And once we have gotten that, it actually causes another pig, a blue pig cop, to spawn, like the uh, dangerous one that we just ran into. So, trying to be as cautionary as possible here. Uh, something else I just kind of noticed uh, while I was doing some of these other levels is that there's actually a graphic indicator on screen of the uh, the arc that the pipe bombs will go, which I feel is pretty nice because, at least in the original Duke Nukem 3D, dealing with that could be pretty annoying. But yeah, with the key card obtained, uh, you can see that one particular blue pig cop took out about 60 health by shooting me in the face, so I do not uh, over-exaggerate when I say do not get shot by them. Take them out before they take you out. Along with the fact a mini battle lord spawns, this can be a pretty nasty ambush if you're not really uh, on the ball whenever you exit the strip club. But with those taken out, there's actually another blue pig cop over there, so you know, be on your toes. And just gonna try to oh yeah I don't uh, I don't know what you know, what caused me to fall off there but it was annoying to say the least. There are some nice items tucked away here in the corner, especially this health right here, just to fill back up our med kit. Just making sure there's nothing else valuable to steal from in there. And some more shotgun shells spawn back there, but now we can continue on proper into the. 
third section. Yeah, the third section of the stage. They are nice enough to give you some atomic health here because you will really fucking need it, as we will see in just a second. I'm trying to be fairly cautious as having already done this level about 20 times today, I uh, kind of didn't want to do it anymore, to say the least. But this is a pretty 